Take a look at our first multi-step problem. 2 minus 4 plus 6 minus a negative 7. The first thing I want you to do is just rewrite the problem. So 2 minus 4 plus 6 minus a negative 7. And I hope you notice that I really spaced out my numbers and my symbols. Now what I'm going to do is I need to change every subtraction problem to an addition problem. So I'm going to have to change 2 minus 4 to an addition problem. And I'm going to have to change 6 minus a negative 7 to an addition problem. So I'm going to grab my color. And I'm going to go ahead and change 2 minus 4 to an addition problem. So I keep the pin U and the 2. So leave that alone. Then I'm going to make two changes. I'm going to change the subtraction to addition. And then I'm going to write the opposite of positive 4, which is a negative 4. After that, this is already addition. So I can go ahead and just record plus 6. We're adding 6. And then from there, I need to change this problem. Let me use a different color. 6 minus a negative 7 to 6 plus some number. So I keep the 6. So the menu end stays the same. Then I change the subtraction to addition. And then I change the negative 7 to a positive 7. And now I have in between every set of numbers, I have an addition sign. So now all of these are addition. Now that they're all addition, I can go ahead and add. So let me grab a different color. And I'm going to start on the left and move to the right. And I'm just going to add 2 plus a negative 4. You can use a number line or integer chips. I'm going to use integer chips for this one. So I have two yellow integer chips. Which has addition signs. I have one, two, three, four negatives. Positive two and negative two, that's a zero pair, and I'm left with my answer, which is negative two. Then from here, I copy the rest of the problem. So here's the rest of the problem. I bring down the addition of six and the addition of seven. Next, I'm going to focus on just the next two numbers. So now I'm just adding negative two plus six. We've done this before. This time I'm going to use a number line. So I'm going to start at negative two and then go upward six. So I'm going to put negative two down here so that I have room to move upwards six spaces. So I move upwards one, two, three, four, five, six, and I need to figure out where I ended up. So I'm increasing. So the next number would be negative one, then zero, then one, then two, then three, and I end up at four. So negative 2 plus 6 gives me 4. And then I bring down the rest of the problem, so the plus 7. And we should already, I mean, in fifth grade, you should have known already how to add 4 plus 7. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it. 4 plus 7 is 11. And that is my final answer.